Hi there, Dan from OnlineBassCourses.com. Hope you're doing well. In this video, I'm going to show you how I put together this P bass relatively cheaply so that you might have some ideas. Maybe you want to do the same or upgrade an existing bass. Speaking of which, I have a video that I did. I'll put a link to it right here where I have taken a jazz bass that I've had over the years and I've modified pretty much everything there is to change on it. I think the body is the only thing that is original. So just little modifications that you can make on, on a cheap bass to, to bring it up to a, a sort of better standard. That video is a good one to watch for that. But this one I bought 10 years ago. I bought all the parts 10 years ago and I decided that I wanted to, to put it together myself. It's a bit of a project. You can tell it was pre-marriage kids had a bit of money knocking around and Really, I wanted it as a backup to my 1978 P bass, which I didn't really want to take out to gigs. And I wanted to keep it in the studio, really, and just play it there a lot. So that was the that was the kind of premise behind it. But what I did, you know, I wanted to get into the looks. I wanted, you know, black hardware and all that kind of thing. So it's a way of customising a bass and getting it a little bit cheaper. Now, full disclosure is that I botched a few little things in it, so I just took it to a local guy and he really really did a great job on it so that might be it, you could do that too you can buy all the parts take it to your local luthier give them a bit of work and for, for not much money you can knock something up that sounds really really good so i'm just gonna take a little bit of time just to show you all the parts and then i'll demo a few sounds so i went with warmoth body and neck i'll put all the specs up and all the prices as we go because i don't have them off the top of my head but i think this is alder and we've got maple Indian rosewood neck. That's kind of what, what I was after. A pretty traditional setup. I didn't want anything too, you know, too crazy. Um, hardware is something that you shouldn't really skimp on. I went for Hipshot Ultralight tuners and the vintage style bridge. I got a little bit of money off that, so that brought the price down. But, you know, one of your jobs is to be in tune. And I've had tuners before, maybe you have, that they're not very accurate, they're maybe a bit loose, a bit shaky. So these are great. And, and they're ultralight, so they are, you don't get any neck dive or anything like that. What else have I got? i got bare knuckle pickup in here. I wanted to go for a bit of a 60s sound. Now, loads of pickup companies do, do really specific sounds. Now, a P-Bass, the tones you get from a P-Bass aren't incredibly varied, but you can zero in on different eras. So you can do your research there, but you know, this was a local sort of UK company and I, I love their stuff. So I decided to go for that. I used Dunlop strap locks because all my bases have got those on. So there was no different for these. So I can just change bases quickly and, and put the strap lock in there. So they're quite expensive those, but you know, if you were thinking of doing something, you might just go for some, go for some standard ones. I think I got the pit guard from Warmoth as well. The screws came with that, and I think the knobs as well. What else? I, well, okay, that's another thing. I almost forgot to say. The strings, I think uh, about $50, but Tomastic Infeld flat wounds these are. I think those are the ones that Pino uses on his bass. And I guess I was going for that James Jameson Pino tone. And strings is a really, really important thing. That's It's not really an upgrade, but if you're going for really a rock or a punk sound, you might want stainless steel, bright stainless steel strings. But if you're going for that vintage kind of sound, but I mean, that's, I say vintage, it's used very, in, in lots of modern styles now, is this flat wound setup with a P bass. It's really very much back in fashion. And I think that's it, that's it really. That's most of the important things that you have here. It wasn't that difficult to set it up. I was playing it for years before I took it to the to the guy who did a better job on it. But all in all, it was about $1,000, maybe a touch over with shipping that I had to pay. I got it from the States. I'm, I'm based in London. So I'm just going to demo a few sounds now. And also, right after I shoot this video, I'm going to compare it to my 1968 P bass, which has got flats on it. So I'll put a link to that. And you can check that out. <laughs>
So I hope you got something from that video. If you've got any questions at all, let me know. Otherwise, please like, share, subscribe, and hit the notification bell below, and I'll see you on the next video.